you know, I was sitting there trying to think of how many times this show has elevated its storytelling. First time, I found its footing in the teens, somewhere around 15, 16, 18, somewhere around there. You know, and then I think when Chopper came on board, they elevated their storytelling because, you know, they made us care about a human reindeer hybrid who's a doctor. He has hooves for hands sometimes in, in his baby form. You know, you know what I mean by baby form, right? He has hooves for hands and, and it's just ridiculous. It's ludicrous. And yet we're emotionally invested. That was an elevation of storytelling. And um, I think the Nami was before that, the Arlong arc when Nami's on her knees and she's asking for help. Like that was an elevation of storytelling. Like that just really struck me. That, that was, I was super emotional about that. Ele elevation of storytelling doesn't necessarily mean emotion, but you know, I'm just saying that that was a, a good intersection of great storytelling, great emotion, sincerity. The show's so sincere. I love that about the show. They're not afraid to tell each other I care about you without having to do a Marvel uh -huh, wink at the camera. <laughs> you know, you don't have to undercut it with a joke. You can have genuine human moments. Even though they did they did humor brilliantly last episode, there wasn't much humor. <laughs> but Zoro kept telling Chopper to go inside. That was funny. It was just that one little moment of levity that we needed to, so the episode wasn't unbearable. But they didn't do the Marvel thing where they undercut every emotional moment with a joke. And then, um, Nico Robin, that was an elevation of storytelling because for the first time, we had a villain become a friend. Not that I completely trust her. Where the hell is she? But, you know, I'm not saying I trust her, but that was an elevation of storytelling. And this has just been the next great elevation of storytelling. Just absolutely brilliant, man. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. This is episode 237. You know where we are. Unfortunately, again. And you know where we're going. Three, two, one. Wrecked. Emotionally and physically. It's your ship, baby. We're taking the tangerine tree. We better be taking the tangerine tree. That was one hell of a fight, man. The only thing that pisses me off about it, well, a lot of this pisses me off, but the only thing that actually pisses me off is him acting like it wasn't even close. You didn't even have a chance, man. F you. He had you on the ropes, man. I think he, he let up at the last second. And he shouldn't have. But he didn't want to he didn't want to go all the way, right? He wasn't actually trying to kill Luffy, right? So there's that. Killing me, man. Okay, so can we go find Robin now? Effing hell, man. Fortunately, I didn't catch any of that. Like, they started to spoil me last time. Who is the culprit? <laughs> they annihilated that place. <laughs> Wrecked. <laughs> Never leave them at large. This place has been going to hell since they showed up. That's why I was wondering. What was up, man? <laughs> There should have been news reporters, police. Uh, what do they call them? Looky loose. What are you doing, dude? Are you looking for? Her? Somebody I'll be looking for. Her. Just saying. Uh, guess we're just saying. Oh, we haven't bought a ship yet. That's why we have to stay here. Gotcha. Jesus. I didn't make the connection. 
<laughs> they ain't slept in three days. He loves up high, doesn't he? He loves high spaces. He loves a perch. He's like a cat. He really does have the personality of a cat, if you think about it. Right, you want to be able to intercept her before she gets to the ship. That's why he's walking in once the daylight struck. You don't think she got jumped? I guess because of her, she's so powerful. I wouldn't think so either, but still. Anything's possible. Exactly. We don't speak that name anymore. <laughs> yeah. It is what it is, man. It's never pretty. Anyone else want to look for a holes? Now we're going to finally find out that the camera's paying over for a reason. Camera's paying over for a reason. We're going to go find out, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. It's about time somebody else gave a shit. Yeah. <laughs> shit. Uh, yeah. We suck. <laughs> Was what? Oh, shit. That's what they were talking about. What the hell, man? Shit. I wonder if Robin murked him. Coma is so useful to writers. My God, is a coma useful, man. The best thing we've ever invented was comas. We need to put a character on the sidelines. That's the best way to do it, man. I bet there is an uproar. Yeah, everything really has gone to hell since they showed up. He looks like a wood figure, you know? His nose and his eyes. He looks like he's carved out of wood and animated. Not this kind of animated, you know what I mean? I can see why people say Water 7 is their favorite arc. It's amazing. So far, you know? Oh, Jesus. At least it's not a damn bird. <laughs> Speak of the devil. The fact that the bird has a tie. Why do you need a tie, man? Is it, is it, so people don't try to eat you? They figure, well, a tie, that means he's sentient? You know, it probably is. That's probably actually the reason. Jesus, five times? What is he, 50 cent? This is a very intriguing mystery. This combined with Nico Robin that may not may or may not be related to each other. Ice pops. The fact that he calls him ice pops. <laughs> That's a double entendre like a mug. Yeah, what's going on? Yeah, he never met him. I can't believe it's all been happening like in the, over the course of about 36 hours. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> there you go. Zoro, you just stay here like you always. I ain't doing shit. Yeah, <laughs> you lazy ass. Uh, what a way to pass the news.
I prefer the Rome, um, what do they call them, uh, crier, the town crier. That's right. Get me newsed. They're going to be the number one suspects. That's for damn sure. Oh, it could be the guy. Oh, shit. That's right. The government kept me with him. He kept turning them down. They actually are my number one suspects now you mention it. Yeah, man. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Pissed him off, man. <laughs> I'll complain about whoever the hell I want to. Oh, okay. You're not telling me what to do. You're giving me good advice. Gotcha. <laughs> That's one way to get around people. Pissed. Pissed. This train is wild, man. It's basically just a boat, but you know. I like the aesthetic. Is this Frankie? He better not come back. Nah, I don't think so. Two suitcases, very suspicious. Well, I don't... Yeah, is that Frankie? I think so. Shit, there's been so much going on, I forgot what Frankie looked like. I think that's him. I mean, there is so much going on right now, man. We need a shipwright. But, I don't know, he feels kind of invested in this town. If, um... Iceberg dies, he may even take over. Who knows, right? So, I don't know that he's going to be joining the ship. Yeah. <laughs> get, matter of fact, get the hell out of my way. Dumbasses, like he said. Yeah. <laughs> the way this dude travels, man. Dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> Kick his ass. Domestic violence. It's great, by the way. You know, everybody takes the domestic violence from her, and they don't get mad like Usopp and him got mad at each other. Can he even read? We don't even know. Do we? It looks like he can. Okay. Pops. Just not a nickname I've ever used on anybody. Dad was always just dad. There was no pops. <laughs> That's the street where he laid there, beaten to a pulp. The first of three times that was going to happen within a 12-hour span. Curb stomped. His injuries have injuries. Well, you know what they say. It can always get worse. Fragile ass ego. Why don't you just cry about it, man? Look, I'm a little salty. <laughs> I'm not taking sides. I swear to God, I'm not taking sides. But his flaws are more annoying to me than Luffy's flaws. They both have massive flaws. I take his flaws personally. The whole fragile ego thing and the, you know, the inability to fail. Shit annoys me. It's very narcissistic to think you're so perfect you're not allowed to fail. That That's narcissism. 101, man. Yeah. You're dead to me. The noises those things make. That's why they're so effing creepy, man. Stop making those damn noises.
Well, it's wrecked now. <laughs> hey, man. Should have stayed home. Literally. They'd recover the money. That, that fight probably wouldn't happen. Like I said, it was inevitable. It was going to happen sooner or later. No matter what. But this just ex accelerated it. Hey, man. You took the money. Are these guys dead? Are they literally dead? I think they are. Jesus. Like, they got massacred, man. I thought they were just, like, badly beaten. Here's the here's the survivors, right? The few who lived. <laughs> yep, then that's all right. Well, you know, cost matters, man. Like you can't just be at any cost. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you're coming to him for this ass weapon so he doesn't have to track you down. Bring the money with you so we can just simplify this whole thing. Whatever's left. You know he spent some of it. <laughs> oh, I've look, so much has happened. I forgot about the stupid bunny rabbit. I forgot about the kid and the grandpa. Telling you, man, this stuff just happened, right? But, like, man, the high drama the last couple episodes just eradicated everything else out of my brain. There's a Dr. Seuss look to these characters. All three of them. They have a Dr. Seuss vibe. I wonder if that's an intentional reference or if it's an accident. Or I'm just projecting. I don't know. Yep. Can't have a sea train in a storm. <laughs> Creepy. Um, great. Is that an air raid soon? I think it is. An air raid uh, siren? In this case, it's just, you know, to get your attention. Yeah. <laughs> so... There's a lot of questions about these snails, right? So he's just hanging out here 24-7. People must bring him food, right? Who could not hear the warning, man? You had a big-ass siren. What's happening? Get off me. Yeah, no shit. We don't trust uh, travelers, by the way. Wonder how long it lasts. The whole town? Like, the entire town. So, like, I guess you don't have any furniture that can be water damaged. Like, you'd have the entire, the way you construct your town have to be different. The buildings would be fine, but your your shit, you know, the, the your dishes and, you know, everything has to be in, like, watertight containers. Like, you keep everything, all your property in watertight containers, or you have got to take it with you. <laughs> Probably so, but maybe a museum. Look for the museum or a college or university or something. <laughs> Petty rivalry, man. The sibling rivalry is going between all these characters. No, and you know, by talking to her, man, she's very reserved. She don't, she don't talk about herself. Volunteer, she doesn't volunteer anything.
Yep. Denied. Exactly. It's blocked off. Well, we don't have a media badge, so... <laughs> well, jump him then, man. Let's get it. He is. I think he's going to jump Luffy. <laughs> Here it comes. You heard me. <laughs> he has a high grab. So what we're gonna dance? Oh shit. <laughs> we don't want to hear your little song right now. We don't care about your song and dance. Jesus, man. Tough crowd. <laughs> Everybody needs backup dancers. That's right. Break it down. <laughs> Hell yeah. Just the man I wanted to see. Oh, you seem kind of mad. <laughs> I'm right here. What's up? What's good, man? What's good? <laughs> Place cliffhanger here. <laughs> I almost timed that one perfectly. <laughs> well, I guess that's going to be the next person to get their ass kicked. Luffy, I think he really needs to whip somebody's ass who he doesn't have any personal feelings for. Just to get some aggression out there, man. Get some shit off his chest. This will do nicely. And if he gets some money back, you know, or at least get feral revenge for the guy who pretty much prompted all this. By the way, it's not just you want to get your aggression out. This dude literally started this shit. Boy, oh boy, it's not going to be pretty. 